What is the rarest skull in Sea of Thieves? This was the question that made me and my good friend Birch ask ourselves. It isn't the Captain Skull of the Damned or even a Captain Skull at all. There is one skull which requires a long journey and some gruelling tasks to obtain. This of course being the Gold Hoarder Skull. And today on our adventure we set sail over to the Shores of Gold to see just how many skulls we could stack before either sinking, burning out or just all around getting bored. We didn't have to take a side tour to Morris Peak to start the tale, nor did we have to complete the four shrines at the start of the mission. This was because both myself and Birch already have the final chapter of the tale saved on our pirates. This means that we can effortlessly cycle the tale without completing it, as well as skipping most of the tedious steps that come along. So we stocked up our boat and set sail over to the Shores of Gold. With the Gold Hoarder coin already in hand and just one easy parkour jump later, we had already opened the vault doors to the underground section of the tale. Oh yeah, it would be, that would be funny. Well, black skin on the leather. <laughs> With the coin. Meow. Die from fall damage. Do it. No. I'm too good at this game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> every time, man, I, I do, know it's gonna happen. I do I it there every time. Happen. Every time. There is actually a sword lunge skip that you can do in order to avoid the whole trap section of the tower and make it right to the boss fight instantly. I've never been able to do this skip with any sort of consistency, but luckily Birch seems to have the hang of it and is always able to provide when it comes to this. I never hit it when I need to hit it. When I'm just messing around, I hit it every time. Alright, well this is good. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, okay, nice. Alright. Ten minutes of falling to my death later, and Birch finally hit the jump, allowing me to teleport to the other side and right to the boss fight. Before starting the fight though, it is always a good idea for the rest of your crew to leave, as the Gold Hoarder's health scales based on how many players are in your crew at the time. This way we can cycle the boss a lot quicker. We managed to complete the first full fight minus loading times in approximately 50 seconds, setting us up for what could possibly be an insane haul of skulls. One insanely long monologue later, and this marks the first skull of the day, and boy did I have to get used to this monologue. Well that was really quick, so we're gonna get shit tons of these. Yeah, and I can't wait for you to have to get the checkpoint again when we're no, I think, uh, I, but if I get back to the boat, I can cancel it, and it keeps it. About the no, he doesn't. It's about the Wait, how did we do this last time? Because we both kept the checkpoint, right? No, I had to return, I think. I think we used mine in the last one, and then I didn't go get it again. <sighs> oh, yeah, I got tail complete. Uh, there you go. Another tip for any of you wanting to do this yourself, make sure at least one member of your crew leaves upon killing the gold hoarder. This way that crew member can keep their checkpoint so you can continue to stack. Moving on to our second skull, which I believe was one of our fastest runs all session. Totaling in at around 4 minutes 30 seconds from placing down the checkpoint to killing the gold hoarder. Obviously excluding the pirate lord's candidate speech because well, that is genuinely the longest part about this whole adventure and I mean majority of the time was spent listening to this guy and to be honest I don't really want to hear him speak again. <laughs> it just like instantly leaves. Skull drops left. <laughs> oh, that was 
was like two explosions. One that was, time. wait, that was less than 10 minutes. That was less than five minutes, I think. Yeah, because I first tried the jump. For the next eight skulls, we did nothing new and nothing really interesting happened. Just a lot of me falling to my death. I'm never going to hit this jump in my life. However, on our 10th completion is where things got a little bit interesting, to say the least. And the, and the, the, te the text under it is like, it's a set. Oh, there's a guy here. Hi. What? Uh, uh hello. Hi. <laughs> I assume this isn't your first quest. <laughs> uh, no. Do you, uh, are you also here to do it or? Yeah, we were thinking about it. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll let you guys do it then, and we'll keep doing off going afterwards, I guess. Um, okay. If that's okay, we'll do. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Well, uh, we'll just wait. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, ask them if they want the gold hoarder coin, because I can skip the whole thing. Wait, 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 you, you. Are you guys doing the quest on the island right now? See if you can use this one and just skip it. Okay, we'll try. Because if, if it lets you skip it, that's funny. <laughs> I want to see if it works. Oh. It's okay, over here. Sure. It's over here. This was genuinely one of the most weirdly peaceful interactions on the Shores of Gold I've had in this game, period. Birch went underground with them, using our own vault key to open everything up for them while I watched the skulls that we had already collected. It was also at this point I decided to pick up and place back down the skulls to refresh the loot timer. For those of you who don't know, all loot placed on land has a two hour cap before it despawns unless it's touched by another player. Keep this in mind for later on in the video. This crew genuinely took so long to complete the fight. Me and Birch had to wait a total of 55 minutes for them to finish only 10 minutes of that was spent in the puzzle section, the rest was all fighting the gold hoarder. Which I really, really struggled to get my head around, even still to this day. Anyway, when they did leave the waterfall skull in hand, we parted ways and returned to our usual grind. I couldn't bring myself to steal the skull from them, considering the amount of time we spent waiting. I'm dead here, oh no, mind. Got it. Of, like... Yeah, you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> so weird. Ooh, spooky skeleton skull. I got it. Mm. Epic. All right. Here, take this. That was another five minute one. Peace out. Epic. After killing the Gold Hoarder a total of 25 times, on our 25th time, four and a half hours into our play session, this happened. What the fuck happened? Wait, how is that even definitely, possible? Definitely despawn. Oh, the back ones did, eh? Definitely despawn. Oh, I touched them, though. <sighs> Fuck's sake. How many rows was that? We were on our last row out of five rows. Oh, my. We, we lost two rows. Fuck me. Well. <sighs> we lost ten skulls. <laughs> I want to cry. Uh, you know, put that, put that in the video. It turns out that myself and Birch, after resetting the skulls once or twice, forgot after that, subsequently losing 10 skulls, and as you can imagine, we was not pleased with this at all. So we decided to call it there. And this was the tale of how me and my friend stacked the rarest loot in the game. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.